outside, it was the time of the year where the leaves turned to a color so vibrant that you are pleased to see it. The temperature had dropped below the comfortable level, bringing jackets, hats, and gloves from closets throughout the town and onto the people walking from here and there to and from places of warmth. The doctor was comfortable with a very quiet night inside his office. His break hour was almost here as he worked in the dark and empty room. However, just outside his door was an unexpected visitor that was about to disturb the silence. And so, the doctor went to work that night and had no need to go home for a break, as he had already ate his dinner. It was nothing out of the ordinary. He had simply decided to eat a little earlier to end the work week. And now he sat there in his office, drinking his mysterious drink, his stomach full and his lips red. No company to talk to, no crazy patients to attend to, no need to head home until after work for his next meal. Hi. How may I help you? Hi. My name is Daisy. I'm Charles's wife. Have you seen him at all today? Oh, I see. You are Mrs. Salis? Uh, no, I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks since our last examination. Why do you ask? I haven't seen him all day and I've just been so worried that something bad may have happened. This isn't like him. Well, won't you come in for a minute? Can I take your coat? So when did you last see him? I saw him right before I went to bed last night. Last night was a big night for him. He believed he was going to die on Halloween. Yes, I know. He told me all about his premonitions and he was really making good progress. He stayed up all night last night because he was so worried about dying in his sleep. Yes, that's right. How did you know that? Last time we spoke, he told me he thought his only chance against his premonition coming true would be to stay up all night to fight it up inside of him. I know, but he was doing fine before I went to sleep. He seemed to finally believe that he would make it. He's an interesting man, your husband, believing in such nonsensical things. He was really scared this past year, especially once he thought Halloween would be his last day alive. I told him last time that he may visit me on All Saints Day today to put all of this uh, silliness behind us. But Alice, I haven't seen him. He told me all about it. He really took your advice to heart these last two weeks. That's good to hear. Do you have any idea where he could have went? I just don't know. He wasn't at home when I woke up. He hasn't returned home yet from work. And I didn't see him all day because I was working at the restaurant. I thought he might have visited you. He really didn't sleep last night? No, I never heard him come in. Well, in that case, I'm sure he had a long day at work. He probably just fell asleep somewhere. It helps to work on a full night's rest, you know. Speaking of which, it also helps to work on a full stomach. And it's my break hour, so I must be heading home now. Oh, yes, of course. I'm very sorry to disturb you when you were about to head home. Is that blood? Blood? Oh, oh no, that's just punch I spilled earlier. It's my favorite drink. I 
Daniel is not trouble at all, Mrs. Solis. I'm sure he'll come home tonight. Please, call me Daisy. Yes, he did mention that to me. I hear you are quite a cook. Oh, I do my best. We will definitely have to have you and Wendy over for dinner sometime. Hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm sure he'll be back at home when I get there. I probably worried for nothing. I guess keep your eyes open for him. It couldn't hurt. Yes, if I see him, I'll let you know. Good night. Good night. Last night, his wife came to the office today looking for him. Why'd we have to kill him, Gabriel? We saw a training hunter. We couldn't just let him go. I know, but I still feel like we shouldn't have killed him. What else could we have done? We had to kill him, Wendy. We had to protect our way of living. Take care of it. <clears throat> How's your night been so far, honey? It's been okay, I guess. Come on. You've hardly touched your ball. What's wrong? You're not still frightened about last night, are you? No. No, I'm fine. Boring? Uh, why? We are having a nice family meal together. Uh, and what about last night? Uh, I would say we had a fun Halloween. There's nothing fun to do here. We just stay around and hide away. We didn't even go trick or treating last night because we were too busy. We had to quit last night. There is always next year. Besides, it's not like you can eat the candy they give out anyways. Yeah. I know. Sometimes I wish I was just a normal kid. Aww. Baby, am I not enough to keep you entertained around the house? Maybe we can go out next weekend. See a motion picture together? Yes. All right, that'll be fun. Here's today's paper with the show times. Pick one. Would you like some black pop? Uh, yeah, thanks. I'll take one too, please. Maybe we could see this one here. Oh, oh, is that the one with Dave? You know that man? Even Dave. Just for a stop to him? Yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty.
I'll chug to the next. But really, Daisy, it was you who saved me. You're the one who helped me gain control of my fear. I told you that you were just caught up in your head. How did I get so lucky to finding someone like you? I could say all the same about you, my love. Oh, hey. What do you want to do tonight? I'm feeling better. I mean, much better than I have all year. I know. We should go to the carnival. It's in town this whole week. I read it in the paper earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, do you remember the, uh, do you remember that really big prize that I won a couple years back for you? Yes, I loved it. Yeah. And it's a date. But wait, I thought that you were going to stop by the bank today. Oh, I'd much rather spend my time with you. Well, we can wait until tomorrow. Hey, come here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. So what's the missing person's name? Charles. Charles Salas. My husband. Right. When did you last see him? Right before I went to bed on Halloween night. <coughs> so about two days ago now? Yes. Do you have any idea where he might have gone or what might have happened to him? Daisy? It's just the strangest coincidence. I know that this is going to sound crazy, but he was staying up the whole night. Why was he doing that? Well, he had been dealing with a cough for a while, and he had become convinced that he was going to die on Halloween night. And it's that very night that was the last time I saw him. <sighs> That's insane. Why would you think a simple cough would him to die. He told me about a series of premonitions that he had, although he didn't tell me about the one that predicted he would die until that very evening. It does sound like nonsense, doesn't it? But when I awoke on All Saints Day yesterday, he wasn't there, and I haven't seen a trace of him since then either. <sighs> You're not suggesting his premonition came true now, are you? <coughs> Just two days ago, I didn't think I believed in it either. He was doing better these last couple of weeks. I really felt like he finally had it under control that evening. But nonetheless, he was convinced it would come true. And now I'm not so certain anymore. Don't you think that it's strange? It is quite a strange coincidence, I'll admit. <sighs> but it's so far-fetched to think that somebody can just die from a simple cough. I know. I think I'm just so scared and worried about him that I don't know what to believe anymore. Daisy, we're gonna do everything we can to help. If anyone sees or hears anything, I will let you know. You know, oftentimes the things that we fear the worst end up being nothing at all. Thank you. 
Is there anything else that you'd like to tell me? Well, he was seeing this local night doctor. I went there yesterday, but he said he hadn't seen him. Charles had been seeing him for this past year, ever since he contracted the cough. Yes, I know him. It's, uh, Dr. Gabriel, right? Yes, <coughs> that's him. <coughs> Some persistent cough if you had been seeing him for a year. You better get yours checked out, too. I just haven't had the chance yet with all of this going on. I understand. But don't you go around thinking that this cough is going to kill you, too, okay? I'll try not to. I know he might be all right, Detective, but he's my husband. I just can't help being worried about him right now. Well, thank you, Detective. Good night. I know. We'll do everything in our power to bring him back home. You take care now. Good night. Wendy, Kristen, are you home? Come here and look where I brought us. What is all this motion about? What? <laughs> oh my! What should we name her? Uh, how about Claudia? Claudia, like your cousin. <laughs> she looks like a Claudia. Now it won't be so boring around here for Kristen, will it? <laughs> uh, when's Kristen? She's sleeping. <laughs> you should have regained your strength back enough to return home. Although, you're welcome to visit us whenever you want. You are one of us now. Thanks. Honey, have you seen my name tag for work around the house? I cannot seem to find it anywhere. I haven't. I'm sorry. Mm. So how do you like being a vampire hunter? Well, I, I guess I'm a little uneasy about all the killing and the blood, but I guess it's pretty cool to stay up all night. Especially now that we have a dog around the house. Mm -hmm. How do you like it, Claudia? I'm still a little worried about the... Hi, Doctor. Dr. Gabriel aren't there. I'm sorry again, but I really need to see you. Uh, just a minute! Okay, take him to the bedroom and lie in there. I'll take care of it as soon as I can.
Ah, uh, Daisy. Yes, uh, what do you need so late at night? Well, I've been feeling a little under the weather and wanted to see you about it. I'm afraid I couldn't wait until tomorrow. I see. Uh, why don't you come in for a minute or two and we can discuss this in more detail. Thank you. I apologize for bothering you so late at night. You probably were trying to fall asleep. It wouldn't be the first time a patient has shown up in the middle of the night. I suppose not with you being the only night doctor in our area. <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. Would you like anything to drink? No, thank you. Just last night, I'm afraid I, I, I started coughing. And it hasn't stopped all day long. I've had a premonition. Oh, no. Not you too. I know it sounds crazy, but Charles had that cough for over a year, doctor. And then he thought he was going to die on Halloween and hasn't been seen since that night. You mean... You haven't found him yet? No, I haven't. That's a pretty crazy occurrence to be just coincidence, don't you think? That's exactly what it sounds like to me. A coincidence. one of my favorite pictures of us three. This was Halloween last year. We went as a family of vampires. What did you all go as this year? We went as the monsters. Kristen had a lot of fun dressing as Eddie. That's very fun. Doctor, I'm very worried about my husband. <coughs> <coughs> and what if the same thing is going to happen to me whatever it was that has caused his disappearance that's what my premonition was Daisy in my opinion Charles had developed that cough because he convinced himself he was going to I think you are just reacting to him being missing and that's what has caused you to do the same maybe you're right I am worried about him too you know I know. He really considers you a great friend. You had helped him so much. Hopefully he is all right. You really haven't seen or heard from him recently? No, I haven't. But like I said last time we spoke, uh, if I see anything, I will let you know. Thank you, doctor. Sorry to bother you again. Good night. It is quite all right. Good night. You really just let her go like that? We weren't ready for her tonight. Next time, we will be. If she comes back, we we'll take care of her like we did with Charles. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you.
Bradley with the Stansbury Police Department. I had a father who told me that night. I'm just calling on behalf of a client of mine and I had a couple of questions for you since I left off this late at night. This is most irregular. Who are you calling about, Detective? Uh, Daisy Sullivan. She filed a missing persons report with me about her husband, Charles. He's been missing for six days now, and it seems that you have a close relationship with him from what Daisy told me. I would hardly call it that. He was just another patient of mine. I see. Daisy let me know that he had been seeing you for the past year about this strange cough of his. He's been one of my regular patients for quite some time now. I know. So, when did you see him last? Oh, uh, well, let's see. I guess it would have been about three weeks now. And what was the nature of the last time you saw him? The last time I saw Charles, uh, he came to my apartment in the middle of the night, scared to death about his domination. He... I, I can imagine. Daisy told me about those premonitions of his. They just sound pretty crazy to me. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm just calling in to check on you. Anyways, uh, he came to me pleading for help, afraid he was going to die on Halloween night. Uh, this is more cough of his. And uh, even that, after examining him dozens of times during this past year, he seemed to be in perfect health, as far as I could tell. I told him he should try to enjoy these next two weeks as much as he could. And do you know anything about how those two weeks went? Not in the slightest. I told Charles that he could visit me on All Saints Day after his premonition had passed. Uh, I haven't seen him heard from him since then. I see, and Daisy said she visited you looking for him on All Saints Day. That's right. I told her all of this as well, and I assured her that if I didn't happen to see him or find out anything, that I would let her know. Would you happen to remember if he may have left clues as to where he might have gone after that night of Halloween? Uh, no, nothing comes to mind. He really only ever visited me to discuss his condition. Uh, well, if you think of anything, please let me or Daisy know. I'm sure you'll be seeing her soon, Ashley. She just seems to come down with a bit of a cough herself. Oh, I doubt it. Unless she's anything like her husband, then I might never get rid of her. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Hey, Miss Daisy. Come here for a second. Yes, what do you need? <coughs> Try that. Mm, that's wonderful. Yes, hello. Is Detective Bradley still there? 
I just really need to speak with him regarding my husband. He went missing over a week ago now. Charles. Charles Salas. Yes, if you could please just tell him when he comes back. Mine? My name's Daisy. Well, I think I know what might have happened to him. If he could just call me back as soon as he can. Thank you. Like anything to me. Is that blood? Blood? Oh, oh no, that's just punch I spilled earlier. It's my favorite thing. Violet, when did Mrs. Solace call here? Violet.
Let's go. Hopefully this show isn't sold out yet. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. Everyone has to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Kristen, are you ready to go, dear? Dr. Gabriel, are you there? Quickly, go to the kitchen. Do it's you know Daisy. Buddy, come on. I really need to talk to you. Hello? Oh, why? Uh, hello. How may I help you, Daisy? Would you mind if I came in? I need to talk to you about something. Well... We were just getting ready to leave in a few minutes. It'll just take a couple of minutes. Well, okay. All right. Come on inside. <coughs> Doctor, I think I know what happened to Charles. That's great. Do you think you'll be able to find where he went? I know that Charles was here last week on Halloween night. His handkerchief was on the floor over there when I came here a couple days after he went missing. That's preposterous. Why? He probably dropped it over there a while ago and we just never noticed it. You got so nerve with what I think you are insinuating. Doctor, where is he? What have you done with him? This is ridiculous. If you'll excuse us, we <coughs> must be leaving soon. So, if you would, please. <coughs> What did you do with him? He trusted you so much, he must have come here that night. We really need to be leaving, Daisy. Oh, where even is your family, doctor? <laughs> I've had enough of this nonsense. <coughs> you should have left while you still had the chance. <coughs>
A man in search of triumph over disease. A woman aggressively seeking the truth. Both Charles and Daisy Solace were ordinary people making their way through life in this quaint, small town. They worked hard and both lived honest lives. But for each of them, there was a day in their life that changed everything from that point forward. No matter the comfort of others or the fear they held which sparked their determination, no matter if they spent a year or a week fighting against the dread they held in their minds, a cough, a simple release of air from the lungs with a sudden sharp sound spelled out death for both of them.